Hello everyone, it's me Sai. Welcome to another episode of Budget Eating. Today we are at Panalai La Chaniwet, the King Nalai Great Land Fair Festival in Lubuli with 500 baht or around $13 budget. Let's see what this festival can offer. But first, we have to go change into Thai traditional dress to fit the theme since this is an ancient city. about this dress so if you want to rent the dress this is like the most affordable price called model wedding you have to come here I'll leave the link under the description now let's go eat this is King Nalai Great Land Fair or as we local call it Ngan Wang held in February every year which is birthday month of King Nalai, the great king of Ayutthaya, bringing prosperity to Lobuli. The event will have day and night activity at Panarai Rajaniwe. People dress up in Thai traditional dress or Thai costume like what I'm wearing right now. Lobuli is considering a center for selling a Thai loy cloth and local woven fabric, which create a large amount of income for Lobuli people. If you guys have a chance, I want you to come visit here at least one. This is the biggest festival I have ever seen. Light and sound are beautiful, spectacular. There are so many delicious restaurants. I would say this is the world's biggest night market of all time. I think $13 is a little bit not enough. Look at how many shops. This is like we're in a full city. A whole city filled with food. Wow. Oh, look at this. This is like the college that teach how to make Wong Malai. This is like flour and they use the needles, needles like this, like that, to, to make a uh, flour. It needs a lot of patience. Back in the day, Thai women, we don't work. All day we learn how to make this one. Perfect wife know how to do this one. Sorry baby, I don't know how to do this one. As you can see, all of these are fruit and vegetables that olden day Thai women, Thai lady need to learn. We need to learn how to cut these vegetables and fruit into like beautiful flowers. Now I take a class as a do like with the soap and I completely forget how to do it now. But anyway, the college that are doing this one have the best the best best hand hand work look at this it's not easy to like this is like a, a whole watermelon and this is a pumpkin melon what else carrot this take time and patience one of the most traditional Thai dessert is this one all the golden snack we call สวัสดีค่ะ we call ฝอยทอง Thong Yod Thong Yip Thong Egg or Thong is mean gold gold dessert created by Thao Thong Kima this one Thong Yod no? Thong Yod let's try wow Perfect, not too sweet. I'm gonna get one box. Gong, how much? Half of this. Okay. 50 baht and 100 baht. We get 150 baht at half everything. I'll get 50 baht. Gong, one. Ha. How much? Ancient 
city traditional Thai food, of course, matcha pad Thai. Now we're gonna try authentic pad Thai for one. Authentic pad Thai, you will not see any trims or any meat. They basically stir fry with pork oil, which is like pork fat, like a ghee, basically like ghee with egg and noodles and sugar and fish sauce, and that pretty much it for authentic pad Thai. We get one. Ow. green mango and then normally they're gonna put chili and I tell him no chili piece that's a um, cabbage carrot lime yeah lime is the best to go with it cucumber This one is omelette. Omelette, they fried it and then they slide into like a noodles. Oh, this one my favorite. Pork sausage. Kun Chiang Si Sin Thai. I asked him how do 
you say 70 baht change? 40? <laughs> 70. 70, who's it? 70. Yeah. 20. 20, yeah, man. You can count to 20. Let's try. Mm. Very sweet. Smell very nice. Got a nice aroma. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. This one is my first time seeing this one. It's potato noodles. Monthly, monthly fry. Something different. So you got that one in a little cup, in a little tray. They have little and large. And then you're seasoning with cheese, spice, or paprika barbecue. I'm gonna go with cheese. I'm gonna go with cheese. Open cheese, ค่ะ ถัด เลข Look at that. And this is one is like rainbow. If you come to Thailand and you're not a fan of uh, mayonnaise, you can always tell them no mayonnaise. Mayonnaise in English, mayonnaise in Thai, basically the same same word. Thirty-five baht. I see Nong Chu. Yeah. 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 What? I mean, this is out from the traditional Thai food, but it's so interesting to eat. Let's try. Whoa. Look at that. I'm so afraid we're so afraid it's gonna break it. Oh my god, it's so crispy. How do you eat this thing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Super crispy. Cheesy. Alloy. Ten out of ten. If you find this one in Thailand, I recommend you to get it. I give him. Authentic guitar. Very beautiful. How much? 50 baht. That's a crocodile barbecue over there. They have ostrich, crocodile, deer, pork, squid, ham, chicken, chicken and pork. Mm. First time trying crocodile. 50 baht per stick. This is crocodile barbecue. Let's try. Oh, tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. Oh. I'd rather eat chicken than crocodile. Then say like chicken. Wow. This one is called babin. Babin is made from perfume coconut, special type of coconut that smells very nice and the, uh, the juice itself is very sweet. I'll take one. 20 baht for pieces. In here, this shop, they also have in banana market. And when, every time we go to banana market, I always get some and also the coconut water. The texture is very sticky and chewy, sweet from the coconut, and I think they put another flower to make it sticky. Yeah, we don't need to put it. Let's try it first. Thank you. It's that nice and hot. Before, when you go to banana market, you need to wait in line, like get the queue and wait in line. This is gonna be hot. This is gonna try a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's very nice. Oh. 
crispy from the outside, sweet and chewy from the inside. If you're coconut fan, coconut lover, try Khanok Babin. Potato skrill. Is that how would you call it? Potato skrill? Potato, how do you pronounce it? Skrill? Swirl. Potato swirl. <laughs> Nice and hot. Lawn. The oil looks very nice. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know. He said he's very hot. Staying with the oil, I said. I'm hot too from walking and eating. Not working, but complaining about hotting. Now, best recommend that you could get the spice the powder is the cheese so they have paprika tom yum and then cheese noli which is like seaweed and then corn <laughs> barbecue i'm going with cheese best recommend guys cheese perfect we are gonna go off for authentic Thai snack, but we already did that. My market, you guys, you gotta try this. I've been craving this so much. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hot. This one I need to eat when it's fresh. It's bad boy. Ah. <laughs> We had entered to another authentic market and here they sell drink. We have tha, cha Thai, Thai tea, green tea, pineapples, lam yai, and rose salad. We're gonna go with Thai tea. Our cha Thai gan mi khat. How much? Uh, how much? Huh? Twenty baht. Okay. Beautiful cha Thai. Very beautiful. <laughs> and then I'm gonna also get one Rosel to try. The the most delicious Thai tea I have ever had. So good. Nice and the, uh, the sweet amount, the amount of the sweet level is perfect. Ani mm. Roselle. Okay. Roselle. Let's try Roselle. This Roselle has been boiled for a while. So when the Roselle been boiled for a while, it has a different taste, but it's amazing. Cost 20 baht per cup. This one is called Kun Beef and it's only 10 baht per stick. We're gonna get four. Now they also serve with Jim Jiao sauce, which is the basically tamarind sauce, but but I just want plain because that one also have a little bit of chili. Let's try. Mm. Coconut beef. It's like a vacuum, but it's like Thai vacuum. Coconut beef is very good beef.
ปรบมือให้กับการแสดงมินิไลท์แอนด์ซาวนะคะเรื่องพรมลิขิตสู่ผิดเก่าเล่าตำนานค่ะประพันธ์บทและ so also they also have show and activity show the light show on the stage like this I recommend you to come if you if you want to come to for take a photo then come in between 5 p.m. but this show is uh, 8 p.m. so you can come here and watching the show buy the food and sit over here and just enjoy enjoy the moment Okay, now that's the strawberry on the stick. If you come to Thailand, this is another dish you need to try. That is like dipping with the syrup and then she dipping in a nice ice cold water to make the sugar very crispy. We try that one. How are you? How are you? It's 35 baht per stick. Let's try. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. The sweet from the sugar, the sweet and sour from the strawberry go together so well. I'll try one try. I'll cut one try. We are. We are going to get a coconut ice cream for the dessert and with a cold ice ice cream underneath she served a sticky rice and that is coconut ice cream if i can see there might be a little bit and lưng lưng ah it's mixed mixed with cha thai a little bit a little so scoop of cha thai thai tea by the way oh she she gave me extra for free ah uh, not okay now the topping with peanut or if you want then some chocolate sauce but I don't want no chocolate sauce 20 baht let's try Pai Tong is a very good brand if you want to have coconut ice cream you can find this um, ice cream anywhere around Thailand it's like a whole brand never doubt Pai Tong Affordable, easy, delicious coconut ice cream. It's so good to walk around an old, ancient building and a pagoda. So many histories. Now, during the day, you can drive here in Lubuli if you want to come visit. Be aware of the monkey. We have a lot of naughty monkey over here. I love Lubuli so much. It's like very convenient and also you still have that Thai vibe. Now, if you want to come during the days, you can but be aware of the little naughty monkey we have like a naughty monkey city over here but if after all it's amazing experience you should come here when you come to Thailand and that is it for the food video today I hope you enjoy it and until next time I'll see you guys soon bye bye